This is a talk feature for Frigo Talks the News on Thursday, May 14th, 2020. Our feature for today is Rare Earth in the U.S. No Mo. Thanks to China. But before we get to that, let's head on over to Obamacare.tv. Tell you a little bit of something where this is one of the places where we get our links from. And I just want just to just look real quick at what's going on over there on Obamacare.tv. A couple links here. We got underwater drones discover battleship to survive atomic blast in both world wars. Virus conspiracy theory video shows challenges for big tech. Senate narrowly rejects new limits on internet surveillance. Surprise, concerned, and a little confused. Flashing warning signs in the shadow banking business. Those are just a couple of headlines that you can find there on that. On Obamacare.tv. And now, why don't we head on back to our, uh, our previously scheduled program. Already in progress. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. I went for that big ball of cheese. I went for that. I did that for you. So this is tour mode, and that was the the link on it for that was the the feature text thingy from yesterday. And now I must consider this tour mode. I do not believe that tour mode is relevant to this story. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, tour mode's reign has ended. It is done. It didn't make it to the next story. And the next story is. Rare earth in the U.S., no mo, thanks to China. Thanks to the bellicosity now smoldering out to the land of Z, Americans are finding some of their green love shifting to third world countries has a, has a, has a nasty side effect. You know what, I gotta, I gotta read that in a way that it makes sense, because it's all about the cables with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Americans are finding some of their green love shifting to third world countries has a nasty side effect. Makes you dependent on potential thugs that will thug you if you give them half the chance. Now, as a thug yourself, you know full well the benefits of creating dependence on America by our obedient vassals. You also know the cost of being the vassal. The reduced quality of life, or at least the ceiling on quality placed on our vassal state pours. To that end, some of the citadelians of American have, well, of America, have found that their butter might still be breaded by the same American pores. So their ceilings are ones that could affect these families. To that end, America will once again scour the land for the precious jewels that will make us dependent free on China's rare earth. U.S. takes step to answer China's rare earth elements monopoly. Ah, I can only get it as big as that. I should have uh, fixed this in post. Actually, I, I should have fixed it pre-pre-pre-show. Not in post, sir. You know what? I'll fix this in post. Don't worry. I'll edit this part out. I'll, I'll replace it with really beautiful text. And if you see this and you didn't see that, that means I... Well, that's probably what happened. I probably didn't do it. I didn't fix it in post. You're going to have to deal with this. I apologize. Humbly. There are 17 rare earth elements that America depends on for our military and civilian use, but we do not have the capacity to mine and produce them. For that, we must rely on China. China. That's a song from the 80s. From 1952 until the 1990s, the Mountain Pass Mine in California was one of the world's only suppliers of rare earth elements. And then the green folks came in and says, Dear Lord, please do not allow us to defile your land in this way. Let us get this venality out of our land and let's rely on poorer people to despoil their land and then we'll make money easy money off of that dear lord dear lord you can insert whatever you want to put in there whatever whatever your thing is as rick mills explained in mining.com in 1980 nuclear regulatory commission 
an international atomic energy agency. You're going to love this. This is, I mean, this is how they're wording it. I'm going to, oh, oh, you know what? There we go. We have our moment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, get a moment of zen. Hold on. Why am I trying to add? I have created, I have created a madness for this machine. A machine that I shall present to you. Not because I can, but because I must. Not because I must, but because I shall. Or, what, did I go? I got a little bit, got a little bit carried away. I feel bad, I... I believe that I just peed myself. Not gonna lie. No, I did not. I did not. I did not, ladies and gentlemen. Urinate. I did not go void into the pantage. I remained clean. But there's your word, ladies and gentlemen. There's your word. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like that. I should probably put it in white, but I'm not going to. Yeah, I think it's it's going to stay there. Needs to not be right. Misclassified rare earth elements and place the mining of them under the same regulation of thorium. Now the song is in my head, so I, it was rhythmically there. I took it. A radioactive element that is removed when processing heavy rare earth elements. This error. Error. You know what? Hold on. I think we got to add to this then. There we go. There we go. There we go. Made the processing of rare earth elements an increasingly dangerous and costly business. New onerous regulations on thorium made the mining and refining of thorium bearing rare earth elements risky. Over the next two decades, the US rare earth mining industry collapsed. Mills explained. I'm sure he didn't sound like that when he said it, but he does now. And if you ever hear this, Mills, Mrs. Who is this? Rick Mills? If you ever hear this, Rick Mills, own it. Live it. Love it. Learn it. Become it. You'll thank me in the end. In the western suburbs of Denver lies a key component of America regaining independence from China's hold on rare earth element processing. There, according to the Denver Post, CEO of USFA Rare Earth, Pinny Alpus. Oh, it's a really cool name. Pinealtus said. Pinealtus. You know what? I'm just going to highlight it. That's all I'm doing. I can't take away misclassified error. I'm sorry. Under any other situation, Penny, I would have given you some marquee moments, but sorry. Misclassified error must sustain itself probably to the end of this segment and then carry it over to the next, I think. Our Colorado pilot plant will be the first processing facility outside of China with the ability to separate the full range of rare earths, lights, mids, and heavies. USA Rare Earth teamed with the Texas Mineral Resource Corporation to build the Wheat Ridge facility, which is expected to be, com to, which is ex expected to be complete. I'm sure they had a t two missing. I do that. These are the errors that are really hard to uh, catch a lot. Is the ones that are not. Spelling errors. Ah, spelling errors you can get because you got the magic. But these, man, mm, I hate that. I feel your pain, whoever wrote this, which ex is expected to be complete in the next few months. Once the Wheat Ridge facility opens, USA Rare Earth, USA Rare Earth, plans to move the equipment to the Round Top Mine. Misclassified error. Hey, Frank. We got a problem. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, rare earths in the U.S. is expensive, but listen, China's got themselves some situations over there. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever, if you're new to the show, it's always Frank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, you listen, listen. People over here, we gotta like. We got the EPA. We got. We got people with guns. We got people with power over here that China doesn't have to deal with. And they can get people in and, and, and I'm just saying. 
Wouldn't that kind of put us in like a bad style? Come on, man. China's nothing. They got no power. Dude, dude, come on, dude. We can make some bank, dude. Dude, we can make it. Come on, baby. Get them honeys. You know what I'm saying. All the flavor of honeys, whatever you into, man. It's there for you, brother. It's on a... Listen, I know a dude with a plane that takes you to an island. All your dreams come true, dude. Come on in. Welcome to the party. Come on. Come on in, friend. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's kind of in one way, shape, form, and variations. And it's not always a plane with an island. It, whatever it is. That's what happened. That's misclassified error. That's why I, I had to keep misclassified error up because I want you to understand misclassified error. There was no error. Let me continue. Let me bring Frank back into this. Yo, Frank! Yo, so we're on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but what you got for me? Yo, man, I put my, I put my best lawyer's stuffs on this, man. Listen, I got, I got, I got, I got, uh, I got Jennifer and uh, and Fannin over there. And let me tell you something, dude. Let me tell you something. They be racking it up. They got this thing. This thing. Listen. Thorium. Thorium, mother. Thorium. Listen. I do this. I do this. I want to make sure. Not just me. I got family. I want in. I want. I want in. Because this is, this comes back, dude. This comes back to me, and man, I ain't walking out of here alive. Because you know, you know this is a security risk, right? You know what this means. Like, I'm not expecting, like, I ain't expecting $10,000. I'm, I'm expecting a lifetime golden freaking ticket to ever, to, to awesome forever. Yo, Frank, we got you, Frank. Come on, just do it. Just, just write the little, just do it. All right. It's classified error. Nobody, nobody allows a misclassified error to be the reason that you hand over your fundamental, vital security advantage over the rest of the world so that corporations can get cheap labor. I mean, that's what happened in, in essence. I don't really think people really care what happened afterwards because I think most of them that did these deals knew that they'd be dead way before the all the bills came to be paid. We we are the ones left to pay the bills, so to speak. And I think with that, we're going to end this segment. Don't forget, you know, if, if you thought, if you liked the song that I sung and you need a voice like mine, telling people about misclassifieds and errors then tip me man tip your news tip your freako go to freako.com find a big old button let's see if this thing is fixed or if i gotta fix this because the other day it wasn't working now and there it's working again all right there it is there it is there it is it wasn't working the other day i had a little issue with it man you know what i'll take this you know what i'm gonna move this i'm gonna move you Listen, there you go. I'm going to leave you right there. You can see that. So you can see the little little jammy jam there. $1, $2, $5. Or if you're one of the people in the stories that are one of the uh, the Citadelians or vassals, close, close related vassals, you know, you need to do like give yourself a day to feel like you're a good human being and give me a gazillion dollars. Don't expect anything in return. Because you ain't getting nothing in return, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna rag on you. But for one day, you get to feel like I am a good and noble person, and then the next day you have to face the fact that you're a schmuck. And then uh, and then and and if you want to stop feeling like you're a schmuck, then just continue to find more people like me to do that for. And the gazillion is just a metaphorical. Just make it make it. How about this? Well, let's just say. Nine point seven three million dollars. That's the amount of money that you'd have to give me for me to be able to grant you the the right to feel good about yourself for the rest of the day for for, for the next twenty four hours. I'll do that. Nope. T 
ten point four million for that. Ten point four million twenty four full hours. There you go. You're welcome. We'll see you uh, at five p.m. with the next segment. Uh, talk fo- talk focus, which is going to be Musk's conscripts Tesla army. But if you're watching live, you don't have to wait. 